Hey everybody, Rick Needham, handicapping thoroughbred racing from my hometown track, Penn National Racecourse, Grandville, Pennsylvania. It is Tuesday evening, October the 18th, and this is my day at the track.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race five this evening, folks. 7.38 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Five and a half furlong sprint on the dirt track. Three year rolls and up race for an optional claiming prize of $34,000. Contenders number four, Radiohead, number three, Rusty Charlie, number two, Flavor, and number six, Hugh and Me. Number four, Radiohead, is the overall speed leader in his optional claiming field tonight. Drops in class by four track master units, has turned in power run performances in four of his last five starts. Number three, Rusty Charlie, also drops in class by six units, has posted power run efforts in three straight starts, hitting the board in the pair, including a power run win, facing better company his last time out. Jockey Dana Whitney and trainer Scott Lake sent him to the post. They've hit the board with 56% of their entries saddled as a team to date. It's noted on numerous occasions in the past, Mr. Lake is annually one of North America's leading trainers terms of win percentages. Race 5 summary number 4, Radiohead tops my contenders list tonight which also includes number 3, Rusty Charlie, number 2, Flavor, and number 6, Hugh and Me, 4326 in the 5th from Penn National. Bonus long shots, Beulah Park race 1, the 6th to 1 shot, number 2, Ultimate Event, takes a class drop of some 16 units, the overall speed leader in this claiming field racing at the mile distance on the dirt. Who's your daddy park? Race 2, number 11, Klondike Express. 8 to 1 on the morning line. Takes a slight class drop. Is decent overall speed for this 8.5 for a long route test on the dirt. His recent past performance sheet show a solid power run place finish facing better company in her second race back. So for Penn National on a Tuesday night, for Needham Ford, dayatthetrack.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.